Triple Russia A's has game. 19 kills in 24 hours. Continue. Uh, I did like a um, freshman biology student here and highlighted the whole thing. Russia, <laughs> Russia's Ministry of Defense has announced that its air defense systems managed to shoot down seven Ukrainian MiG-29 fulcrums in a day when the Russian military is still recovering from the unexpected ATACM's attack on its airfield. Only during the last 24 hours, seven Ukrainian MiG-29 were shot down by air defense. So they got... um. Input from a an Indian Air Force veteran, Squadron Leader Vijender K. Thacker, told Eurasian Times, since they were lost to air defense, it's logical to assume they ran into ambushes. When asked to elaborate, he said they fly low to ev- avoid detection, and then they pop up near the launch point for the JDM they're carrying. When they pull up, they're prone to detection by adversary, adversary radar. And then the um, Eurasian Times goes on to point out that none of this has been authenticated. <laughs> Although the exact number of MiG 29s in Kiev's arsenal is unknown, there were reports that are just about 50 in flyable condition. So losing 19 out of 50 matters. And again, they can't confirm these numbers. It's widely known that frontline MiG 29s have been borne the brunt of the aerial war with a much superior force, Air Force in Russia. They've been pulling them out of long term storage, refurbishing them locally, and borrowing. Fr- from the Slovaks and Polish and improving aircraft. So apparently they're really having a hard time putting planes in the air. That's the story. Yeah. I, I, uh, <clears throat> when I read this, I uh, I immediately thought um, when he was explaining why, I was like, oh, that's Top Gun Maverick, right? Flying in low under the radar and then boom, they pop up and, <laughs> you know, they kind of nail them. So, um I don't, you know, I didn't, I mean, Mover or T-Bear, I didn't realize that they had JDM on the MiG-29. Yeah, that's a good point. I guess you, know you have to go pre-planned. I, I mean, yeah, exactly. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff you've got to put in an airplane before you can, before you can use JDM. Yeah. I mean, use it ac- accurately, at least. I mean, I, I at least <laughs> with my knowledge of the JDM. So I think that's kind of weird. And then the whole, <clears throat> I'm not saying you can't do it, but the whole idea of flying in low and basically like lobbing it um, to me is a little strange. <laughs> I mean, compared to how, how, <clears throat> how we used to use it. I mean, does a yeah, Mid-29 order- have CCRP or auto? Does it even have, I don't think it has any give you the steering. Yeah. I don't think it has a steering line. I think it has a gun sight. That, I mean, You're like I mean, in viz uh, mode. Yeah, I I don't think it has any air to ground. I bet. I mean, yeah, but you can plan now. it out. You can plan it out. I mean, yeah. way back in the day, we had uh, LGB on A10 before we had any CCRP, anything like that. And you just had to, you had to have a good plan and a release point figured. Yeah, that's what I was kind of curious about. TB was like, because A10 didn't have JDM from the beginning, mm-hmm. so. Uh, you know, like when they first introduced it to the to the hog. I mean, I know that they had to modify the airplanes. I mean, they should have. <laughs> Don't well, you need yeah, that? You had the pylons that the bus. Talk, you yeah, you had to have the the wiring and stuff that was smart enough. So would they? Is that what it was? Seventeen sixty. I can't remember. One point six. Yeah. One point six nine. I remember that one. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, they talk about you know losing MiG twenty nines and losing helicopters and stuff. But like, I I'm always a little bit skeptical of any kind of numbers. I mean, both sides claiming stuff, but again, I just kind of thought, you know, I read those articles and like, just kind of knowing how, uh, you know, knowing how some of these weapons work. I'm like, Hmm, (laughs) I wonder how much of this is real. Yeah. Yeah. I don't trust any, any of the information coming out of, of that whole area. Yeah. Like, I don't think any of the kill, like, because people always quote this to me. They're like, well, you know, the longest air to air kill was, I'm like, I don't believe, I mean, Right. Show me. Prove it. Who said that? Right. We're not talking trustworthy people of truth. <laughs> At least not right now. Truth. Yeah. Right. It, it's not. So one day, one day we might. But like that was my main thing is just kind of reading that how they're using the MiG twenty nine. I'm like, man, I don't think I don't remember ever having any kind of air to ground capability. I mean, you know, let alone GPS, but I mean, I guess you can mod anything. And I know they've been modding their their airplanes to accept Western weapons. And he even talks a little bit about in, in the article about, you know, it'd be better with the F-16, which debatable. They but. probably have some kind of makeshift like ADSB puck 
and their foreflight on their iPad and are somehow transmitting oh, from foreflight to drop. Oh, dude. <laughs> dude, I, I mean, T Bear, we, I, I talked about this on the show, but you told me there's a guy with an RV that's got all that stuff. I mean, if if, oh, if yeah. you can civilianly do it, why yeah. why can't you? Well, hey, you know, you bring up a good point, right? When we were flying T-38s, right, with our, our GPSs and stuff, they yeah. you're right. They started to bring in some civilian stuff, like, because it's yeah. better. So it's better. Well, we tried the, uh, we tried the uh, uh, whatever it was called, the position reporting thing, APRS. We tried that, and it worked great over land where they had repeating stations on the ground. So, yeah, you can do a lot of things. But if you look at the video of uh, these guys flying uh, the Russians, they have uh, – handheld GPS is, you know, yeah, I've seen that. suction cupped into the cockpits. And, uh, but Hey, you know, there's one point here. I just want to throw out, you know, they don't put together a package like, uh, so to speak, like we do. And, uh, they're kind of going in there, you know, without a whole lot of protection against these SAMs when they're doing that. I just like, I, you know, 19 kilos, 24 <laughs> hours sounds great, but, I don't think that would work so well against, uh, you know, a strike package, a U.S. strike package. Right. With Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because we'd have I mean, airplanes to help with that stuff. <laughs> yeah, unlike Top Gun Maverick, we actually have people to do these things. Uh, we, what, what's we your read on this, Mav? Well, we don't just send, only. <laughs> send the four ship in. 